Hey you guys, it's me again, and I have some bad news for Trick Moon fans. Unfortunately, this new show is no longer coming to Cartoon Network. <sighs> I'm so pissed off. And how do I and how do I know that? I saw a tweet from its creator, Geneva Hodgson, saying that the channel rejected her project <sighs> Now I'm upset I mean, come on, Cartoon Network! I was really looking forward to this n new show, but now you had to reject it for some reason. And about the characters and uh, trick shot here reminds me. Of the, of the of the Disney's Robin Hood, except that he's a wolf instead of a fox, and tricks tricks shot sister there, pocket. She's cute. She and she and she's. Voiced by Northern Cat Susie, a child legend, and Cat will always be. Cat is always known for voicing Tilly in the in the nineteen ninety one will the will engine that could. Bill and Will and Rugrats. I've heard about the upcoming reboot. Roller Bunny and Space Jam. I'm excited for the sequel next year. Kanga and the Winner Pooh franchise. Sally Acorn in the 1993 Sonic the Hedgehog show. Hmm. Oh, and Cap also voiced my favorite Power Girl Bubbles in the two water cartoon shorts way before Terror Strong took over when the Power of Girls came to regular TV. And Kev also voiced one of Emily Elizabeth's friends in Quiver the Big Red Dog. I kind of forgot her name. And of course, she voiced that annoying hand saw Dusty from Disney Junior's Handy Manny. My friend Justin Thomas and I really hate that show. Oh. 
Nico. Did Cat Boys see ya? Oh, Young Nick Wild and Disney Zootopia. And I heard from Queen 1954 that she voiced Juniper Lee's Will Water and the Adventures of Juniper Lee. I forgot his name. I haven't watched The Adventures of Juniper Lee in a long time. And, and Nathan Quest is also in this show, as known for his role as Freddie Benson in iCarly. And he, as he's set to voice Mage, that's why the character Mage. I also heard he was that nervous boy in a penguin in that penguins a Madagascar episode. The Nick Williams show I'm talking about. Not trying to confuse you with with the movie from way two thousand fourteen. Oh and one more guest star that I know well that is going to be in the show is Steve Barry Baker who I know him for voicing Squirrelium, Fancy Sun, Ball Bass, Puss Perkins, and other various characters on Spongebob Squarepants. Oh, and Elmer and Sanjay on the Fairy Art Parents. Oh, and Mandy's dad in the Grim Adventures of Fairy and Mandy. Hmm. Oh, and Cinderblock in the original Teen Titans. Speaking of the original Teen Titans, I still want it back for just one more season. That's it. And put it on HBO Max. This is my reaction to Trick Moon not coming to Cartoon Network. It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! <gasps> yeah! It's totally not fair! Sorry, one. Just got a drink. Anyways, back what I was saying. It's not fair at all. So please, Cartoon Network and Teen Titans Go away for God's sake. I'm sorry. I have not been this. Angry with Cartoon Network ever since they've ended Unikitty on a side note.
Well, Carlton Eric, I can understand that you're busy with other stuff. But all you care about is money, money, money. Yeah, that's all you care about. Money. You just got to have money. Sorry, excuse me. As I was saying, I have one more thing before I end this video. As as for the Trick Moon Pirate on YouTube, why couldn't the people just comment on it to give out their honest opinions? Oh, I get it. It's because of stupid Copa. YouTube, you have really screwed me over. Just so that I could not come in to give out my honest opinion on that show. All you had to do was give out your your stupid rules, 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 rules. I just need to calm down. But anyways, this is me signing off. I'm so done with 2020.